Important question, friends. When you see your dog, is your immediate thought? Damn, I wish I could wear your fur. Or am I the only one with slight Cruella de Vil inclinations? This is our family dog. Her name is Sitka, but we only call her that when she is not being a good girl. So almost never we mostly call her Mitty or Schmitty. And Mitty Schmitty slash Sitka is a Akita Inu, which is a very furry woolly dog. And as the seasons are changing, she is shedding a whole lot. When I first started spinning, I already asked myself the question if I could be a humane Cruella de Vil kind of type and spin her fur when she was shedding and yes, I could. I made this hat, which is wonderfully fluffy. This is made out of 100% and only nothing else puppy fur. Um, but just like my dog, the hat is shedding, the yarn isn't holding up. So that did not quench my Cruella de Vil tendencies for wearing puppy fur. So let's, let's try and remedy whatever is wrong with, with the yarn I made the hat with. And to do that we are going to blend the fur with a bit of wool. I have got an entire bag of Mitty's fur. This will do quite nicely. To complement the colors of her fur, I'm going to blend it with the iron dyed grey tessellar. Video is in this corner and I hope I have my directions correct this time. Um, and some white tessellar, some uh, undyed tessellar, but also some um, unwashed tessellar because I want to make a fine lace weight yarn out of it. When doing so, I prefer to have some lanolin still left in whatever fiber I'm working with. That just goes a lot smoother. So, plan of attack. We're going to sandwich the puppy fur between two layers of wool so that the fur doesn't get all caught up on the smaller drum. Because it's short, you know? Short bits get caught on drums. And we don't want that. Let's go! And the star of today's spinning project will be Bernadette. Why yes, it's her spinning debut on this channel. So here we go, our fluffy bat of wool, puppy fur, sheep fur, sheep and puppy mix. So before we start spinning, maybe I should answer some questions that you might have. First off, what does this smell like? Not sheep and not puppy. Some really weird hybrid. Will it smell like dog or like wet dog when I spin it or when it is yarn? No, it will not. It's the dog that makes wet dog smell like dog, not its fur. Um, one issue that I might encounter is because the staple length of the sheep is evidently longer than the dog's fur. Um, I might have spots where it's only sheep and only fur. We'll see. And also a little heads up, Bernadette is a double drive wheel and she is very chatty. You will hear her. Well, you heard Gillian and Rachel as well in the past, but she has a very distinctive sound. Also, I am used to having 
Gillian and Rachel having very big orifices. Bernadette has not, so let me just grab a hook. There we go. Shangora, or dog wool, or as my inner child keeps saying, puppy wool, is said to be up to 80% warmer than sheep's wool. Spinning dog hair might sound like a clickbaity thing modern content creators have invented to lure you onto their platforms, but in reality it is an ancient craft. Dog hair yarns have been found in yarns from prehistoric Scandinavia and in textiles from the Navajo and Northwest Coast natives of North America. The name Shangora was coined in 1983 by Annette Klick, who noted that people shied away from the description dog hair, but admired the Angora-like qualities. Now that's some clever marketing. Will you look at that halo? This is exactly what we were going for. A nice thin yarn, but with the glorious halo of puppy fur, almost a bit like Angora. Even though it is a really tiny bobbin, there's quite a bit of yarn on this one. Quite fluffy. Let's make another one. I told you, those little bobbins pack quite a bit of yarn. Crazy to see it on this big ass silhouette bobbin. Now let's get over to the numbers, let's roll it on in the noddy and see how much meters we have and then see what our wraps per inches are. We have filled this nitty noddy with approximately 280 meters of Shangora wool blend yarn. Let's see how thin we made it. This seems to me a pretty decent 18 wraps per inch. I'm looking very disheveled, don't I? So yeah, here we have got a pretty decent lace weight Shangora wool blend yarn. It's not as much of a fluff city as this yarn was with the 100% uh, Shangora yarn, but it has a really pretty halo, I think I don't want as much as a halo as that one for the project I have in mind. The grey and white wool really play together well with the colors that were already natural in my puppy's fur. So that's really great. So yeah, I will now wash this, thwack it and dry it, skein it up or maybe ball it up, cake it up. And then I can start knitting whatever I have in mind with this, but that will be for a future video. So if you want to see what this yarn will get transformed into, then maybe you could like, comment or subscribe. But that is all up to you and I will see you in a next video. Bye!